This is Winning Cures Everything. Here's your host, Gary Seegers. Hey, hey, this is Winning Cures Everything. I am your host, Gary Seegers. Today is Tuesday, February the 26th. Let's go on and do the rundown on this. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, the best NCAA tournament teams for the season. Did not turn my phone off. Um, we're we're going to talk about the nine that could possibly win the national championship. There's only nine. It's going to help you with your bracket. Uh, we'll explain why afterwards. Georgia Tech announces five years worth of games at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. We'll talk about why they're doing this and whether or not it's a good idea. Uh, and then, of course, I've got college basketball picks for this evening. I've got five games. Went one and two last night. The slide continues. The only way to get off is to continue playing. If you don't want to play these right now, totally fine. I completely understand. Uh, I'm still around 54% for the season. Got to get off the slide. I got five of them that I like this evening. Uh, so we'll get into that. First off, the show is brought to you by Tunga, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They have got six incredible sports books down there. You can find out more information on all of them over at tunicatravel.com. March 21st, March 22nd. That is a Thursday and a Friday. Those are the first two days of the NCAA tournament. Chris and myself will be broadcasting live from Samstown Casino in Tunica, inside the sports book. Sports book will open up at 10 o'clock. We will begin broadcasting then. We're going to do a preview show. The morning of each NCAA tournament day, uh, for at least for the first two days. And then we're going to talk again uh, to before the afternoon slate of games. So we're going to give you all your preview stuff. But if you're in town, if you're thinking about taking off work, going to find somewhere to watch the games, come and hang out with us. We're going to be there all day. We're staying overnight in Tunica. We will be there Thursday night. We're going to hang out all day Thursday and Friday. So come on down. Hang out with us at Samstown. Uh, the Facebook event is at the bottom of the YouTube video, so go and check that thing out. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the first topic, the NCAA tournament best odds to win the national championship. Every year, now Action Network put this together. This is based on Ken Palm's adjusted efficiency ratings. The NCAA tournament winner, for the past however long, I mean, it's been 15 years, I, I guess, uh, has had these scores, right? There's an adjusted efficiency metric score of 23.81 or higher. Uh, and those same teams have an adjusted offense score of uh, 114.0 and an adjusted defensive score of 96.2 or less. Here are the nine teams that you want to bank on when it comes to the NCAA tournament. Virginia, which I know is surprising considering they uh, they lost in the first round as a one seed last year, uh, they have got all the numbers. They are they're your best bet as far as the numbers go. Gonzaga is number two. Duke at number three. Michigan State, Kentucky, North Carolina, Tennessee, Purdue, Virginia Tech. Now, notice I did not toss in Villanova. I did not toss in Michigan. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, LSU is not in there. But it, I'm sure that all of you knew that these were, at least some of these, were the teams that have the best shot to win the NCAA championship. Go take those teams. The Action Network has the article up. It's great. It's great. Uh, but those are the nine teams that you are going to want to bank on when it comes to winning the NCAA tournament this year. I would go with those. Let's go with uh, Virginia Tech announces five games at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So starting next season, in the 2020 season, Georgia Tech fans are going to, uh, to head to Mercedes-Benz Stadium instead of Bobby Dodd Stadium for at least one game a year over the next five years. Uh, for the 2022 game, Georgia Tech is going to face Clemson, over Labor Day, and that is uh, that is the second of two Chick-fil-A kickoff games there. Um, Notre Dame is going to count for two of the games. This is uh, interesting, right? Very interesting. They've got their own stadium in the city. 
I don't know why they would need to go over to Mercedes-Benz Stadium, but I can see what Jeff Collins is doing, right? He wants to brand Georgia Tech as Atlanta's football team. The way to do that is to play in the premier sports venue in Atlanta. This is going to help out with recruiting. As, as a matter of fact, Jeff Collins' uh, quote, like the last sentence of his press release, says, it will be great motivation for our team, exciting for our fans, and a great selling point for recruits to play on a stage as big as Mercedes-Benz Stadium. This is all about recruiting. I think it's a great idea. Look, Georgia Tech, Bobby Dodd Stadium, a little old, it's kind of small. You know, it, it's, it's great for traditionalists. But for a franchise or for a program that is trying to uh, be on the rise after being a triple option team for years and years now, they need something new. They need something flashy. This accomplishes everything. They can fit way more people in this than they do at Bobby Dodd. I like the idea. I think it's a good idea. All right, let's jump into the basketball gambling picks for this evening. I've got five games. I've got three sides and two totals. So let's go on and get to it. I'm 153, 132, and 5 on the season. Let's get off the slide. Let's get ready for the NCAA tournament for the conference uh, championship tournaments. First game up, South Carolina minus two at home against Alabama tonight. Alabama is one and six against the spread as a road underdog. Uh, South Carolina at home in the SEC. Uh, they are absolutely killing it right now. Uh, as a matter of fact here, I'm going to pull up the numbers right this second. South Carolina uh, in conference, they are 10-4 and four against the spread. That's pretty insane. Uh, as, a, as a home favorite, or sorry, at home, uh, they are only 6-8. and eight. But in the conference... They have covered three straight uh, at home. I mean, they are they are firing on all cylinders. This is a good basketball team. South Carolina's a good basketball team. Alabama has looked dreadful for the last two and a half weeks. Uh, I, I expect South Carolina to win this game by much more than two points. Next up, Texas A&M plus 12 at LSU. I think Tremont Waters is not playing this evening, even if he is. Look, LSU put everything they had into that Tennessee game. They needed that one for a national level. Right now, you've got Will Wade, who was informed that he's going to be subpoenaed, etc. A&M has been playing much better as of late. Uh, their net ranking has actually jumped up. They are in the 60s now, and they still have a losing record. Uh, Texas A&M playing better at LSU. I think LSU wins this one much closer than 12 points. Uh, next up, San Diego State. I've got them plus 9 at Utah State. Look. San Diego State has won like six straight ball games. They have covered five of the last six. They are rolling right now. Utah State, yes, good basketball team. They are fighting for an NCAA tournament berth, but there's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure there. San Diego State, I think, keeps us closer than nine. I think San Diego State has a chance to win the game outright. Next up, under 149.5 for Akron and Buffalo. It opened up at 146. It was bet way, way up. Uh, my numbers have actually got this uh, as a total of 141. Now, it, no, it doesn't always play like that, but I'm definitely going under the 149. When there's an eight-point difference, I'm all over it. Uh, next up, I've got under 128.5 for St. Louis against VCU. Uh, my numbers have got that around 124. Uh, a lot of people are betting the over on this one, and the line has not moved I, I think I like that in my favor here. Uh, VCU averaging 79 points over the last uh, last five games, but they're only giving up 56. And St. Louis averaging 66 points and only giving up 65 over the last five games. Uh, your average here, it's going to be 124 points. That is under the 128.5. Uh, along with Ken Palm, Sagarin, and Massey, their numbers have got it at 121 as the total. I'm rolling with that. I'm going to take under 128 and a half on that. As always, you can always get the picks at winningcureseverything.com. You go up to the navigation bar and click on gambling picks, or just type in winningcureseverything.com slash gambling dash picks, or look in the description of the YouTube video. It's right there. So that's all you got to do. We appreciate you guys uh, for always sticking with us. 
We, uh, we will have more topics tomorrow, of course. Subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe on YouTube. Leave some comments. Share it out. Review the podcast. Leave some nice five-star reviews for us. We will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.